So, um, I was just going to explain today about the different parts I have for my bands and I'm going to start with Vertigo. So Vertigo was one of the first songs, if not the first, we actually came up with as a band. Um, it's probably our favourite one to play and coming up with the violin part for this was um, not as tough as the other ones have been. This one was quite a niche kind of song, had a lovely key signature to be able to fit the notes into. So when they were playing chords and harmonies, they weren't that difficult. So finding a violin part just fit quite smoothly into. The other great thing about this one for a violin part was Jamie actually had quite a nice little melody slash riff that he came up with to kind of slide into the in like the first part of the song and the last part of the song. So kind of intro area and outro area. It was a really lovely melody that he thought, oh, this could work for the violin. So this melody part, we started out by, um, we thought the guitars can do it at the beginning along with the bass. And then at the end, we have Jamie on guitar with violin and they both played the melody and finished the song like that which was really beautiful because it really complemented what the song's message is so we wanted it to kind of be about just that separation that a lot of people can feel with love and that kind of thing so we made it really like this is them together and this is them apart kind of thing and it was a really beautiful ending to the song and intro to the song now, through the process, after we did our show and tell, we reviewed this and Jamie and the other members of the band felt that this part should actually be ended just on the guitar. So after the last chorus, all the other instruments play this lovely melody and then we all gradually drop out till it's just the guitar to show that kind of like fading away of everyone in this person's life. Um, showing that separation and I I think I argued my part quite a lot for um, this violin melody just because I loved it so much I loved what Jamie had created and I kind of wanted that violin um, guitar intro but I really was swayed by the way they brought it across to me because Jamie was like you've you know this is what we kind of mean it to be in the song so this is kind of how we want to end it um and i kind of had to put aside my love of the part and go okay um you end it on guitar but i will be playing it with the rest of the instruments after the last chorus um so it was just a really lovely thing to create and we haven't had many problems with it really it's been really nice just to fit it in it's the song that in rehearsal we all go oh can we play vertigo now um and it wasn't that hard i think jamie started off with the chord and riff ideas and then we added drums to it and finn and wes kind of came up with their own bit wes on bass plays um the melody sometimes in the intro and then does a lot of like um, root chords with the chords, uh, root notes with the chords is what I meant to say. Um, and then, yeah, we, we had one session and we managed to hash out some lyrics. So I kind of brought in my lyric book and I had some things in there that I really wanted to put into music. And although like a lot of it wasn't like what they were looking for, there were a few just like ideas that were really taken and gone, okay, we can do this with that and we can change this around. And we had that session and then Jamie did his magic and took it all away and really turned it into a song that we all felt we could relate to. So I've really enjoyed the process of working with this song. And I think we all just feel how poignant it's been in our rehearsals and to other people who've listened to it so we've already enjoyed it and the violin parts i will play for you now um the first 
part of the violin bit comes in in the bridge just before the chorus and Jamie actually helped out on this one as well he kind of was just like this sounds really good I was wondering if this could be a lead into a chorus and I was like yeah that's cool I was trying to figure something out but that's great um and then I did the section after the bridge which is um uh, after the chorus so this is the second bridge we have bridge chorus bridge verse bridge chorus bridge outro so um the part after the chorus that i've created is quite simplistic but it really fits in with the laid back lilting kind of feel to the song which i really love um, and then of course I play the melody um, after the chorus um, and I'll play that one for you as well. So bridge before the chorus. So really simple, nothing like fancy at all. And then just some octave A's. And it sounds really simple out of the song, but when you put it in the song, it kind of just really complements everything nicely. And then... That bit was um, what Jamie came up with and then I've kind of done the lead up back to the starting note of the melody just to give it that bit of like zhuzh at the end kind of thing um, and it kind of leads on nicely it leads on nicely when we're doing the next part of the melody so the melody returns back and to kind of fill in the gap that's kind of what I've done that little lead up through thirds which is really lovely. So yeah, that's Vertigo. <laughs> 